we do essentially is we figured out a way to industrialize the construction process. Uh, you know, I'm an architect by background, and architects have always loved the idea of, you know, kind of figuring out a way to take the sort of the Lego block and turn it, you know, kind of industrialize the housing kind of process in that sense. So that's, that's essentially what we do. We, we, we pre-construct buildings using large pre-manufactured components. Uh, some people call them, you know, modular buildings. Some people call them, you know, other kinds of systems like off-site construction systems and all that. Um, but basically, fundamentally, what we do is we construct standard buildings, but we pre-construct them in large pre-manufactured pieces that are transportable down a highway, down a road, and then, pre and then install them onto a foundation system. It essentially simplifies the construction process. It just goes a little bit faster, and it's much easier to maintain quality and sort of detail control on a building. Every building, of course, has got two parts to it. There's, there's the materials input and the labor input. The materials, of course, are essentially the same as anywhere. The labor is just a little bit more, it's a little bit more efficient because you're, you're producing on a production line. So labor inputs are more defined, it's more controllable, and it's just more efficient. I can certainly see larger buildings going in that direction. So in other words, you know, hotels, small apartment buildings being pre-constructed and, and assembled on site as opposed to stick-by-stick -stick construction. Um, houses maybe take a little longer, you know, to get there, but it's, uh, it's definitely, we're definitely moving in that direction. Where our main uh, advantages are is in speed. So you see uh, a regular site-built project, uh, they can start framing after the foundation is done, all, all the concrete work. Well here, while the concrete work, while the foundation is being done, we're building the modules. So as soon as that foundation is done, we're craning literally completed modules into, into, into that place. So we can be done uh, on average maybe 30% uh, less time than a traditionally uh, built. When a process is conceived, first of all, it's going through the design and sales process. They'll design the building, everything gets signed off by the client, then it comes to us. Uh, we do a full set of production drawings, basically getting all the details down on paper. Then we'll meet as a production team to review everything, make sure there's nothing that's, uh, uh, that there's no outstanding questions. Uh, we'll get the drawings, we'll do up our cut lists, and then we'll start our production process. And then from there, basically, the modules will start framing and go through all of the trades until we have a finished product. We do workforce accommodation, so that's the, the man camps that, that you hear about uh, in, in the oil and gas industry, uh, hydroelectric projects, that kind of thing. We do offices, so that's our, our rental buildings, uh, offices, washroom cars, that kind of thing. We also do schools, so not only the, the portables that you would see, uh, but actual permanent uh, schools. Uh, housing, so multifamily, residential, hotels, kind of anything and everything. So we're not really limited to one type of building. Uh, we've done, I think, in our 39 years, probably almost, almost every kind of uh, construction you can think of.